work. All right, there we go. So, hi guys, this is Fluffy182525 here, and today I'm here with a another mod, and excuse me, today I am playing with the, the Skyrim mod, or it used to be called the Skyrim Weapons mod, but now it is called the uh, but uh, but I'm trying to remember. Yeah, now it is called the the um. The Minor Scrolls V Skyrim instead of the Elder Scrolls. It's the Minor huh. Scrolls for, yeah, Minecraft. Uh -huh. But yeah, so I set up a mod review for you guys, but I kind of forgot where I put all the chests. So I guess I'm just going to have to find them. <gasps> Hello, Peggy. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Die! <laughs> now this is something very rare that this mod adds. It's called the Raw Pork Chop. As you can see, this can be eaten, but I don't, I can't, oh, I think I found one of the weapons, spark, okay, yeah, so this is it, this is part of, this is one of the main things that this mod adds, um, it adds a bunch of weapons, spark, um, so, yeah, so, some of the, wep the weapons it adds are, they all have a, as you can notice, as you can see, um, they all pretty much have a huge, well, not necessarily huge, but a pretty big um, attack damage. So, the first thing is the Steel Mace, which has knockback one. And as you can see, some of these have um, enchants to them, and you can see that underneath the name. So, um, yeah. So, the first there is the Steel Mace, the, D the Daedric, I think... Yeah, the Daedric Sword, the Iron Great Sword, the Headsman's Axe, the Headsman, uh, yeah, because heads people that, like, amputate heads for fun use axes, so that's why I'm kind of laughing. So, huh? I'm taking a minute for you guys to laugh, even though I know you're not going to. So, and then there's the Ancient Nord War Axe, because there are so many stupid Ancient Nord things. The Ancient Nord Sword, I actually use one of these. I play Skyrim, so I use one of these all the um, I still have an Ancient Nord Sword, because it's enchanted, and it's amazing. So yeah, then, then there's the Dwarven Sword, the Dwarven War Axe, the Orcish Sword, Orcish Mace, the Horned Ancient Nord War Axe. Ooh, that sounds cool. That has plus six Aww. and plus seven, yay! Eight point four. Huh. So, and then there's the elven sword, Aww. elven stuff now. Elven sword, glass sword, the glass war axe. I guess that was it for the elves. Hmm. Pity for them. Ebony mace, ebony dagger, the steel sword, the emerald sword, Falmar sword, Falmar war axe, the force. The Forsworn Sword, the Steel War Axe, the Steel Battle Axe, the Steel Sword, bloody version, the Glass Dagger, the Ebony War Axe, the, wait, Glass, oh, okay, seven and nine, the Ebony War Axe, the Steel War Axe, the bloody version, the Steel Mace, I, yeah, that was at the top, right, yeah, the bloody version, no reference there, like, definitely no difference there, um, in attack damage, <laughs> or in chance, blah blah blah. The Imperial Sword, the Dragonborn Sword, ooh, Dragonborn Sword, Dragonborn War Axe, Stalhrim Sword, Stalhrim Battle Axe, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Silver Sword, Orcish Battle Axe, and the Elven War Axe. So... As you can tell, there are lots and lots of weapons in this mod. But that's not necessarily why we're here today, is it? The correct answer was no. It's not. So, yeah, that's the weapons. Um, I think there are a few more things in this mod, but I can't think of where the chests would be. In your face, skeleton and spider. Bad alliance there. 
have no idea where these things could possibly be. Maybe it's a... Is that a sign? Fly powers activate. Misk war. Oh, Miss Calunisius. Okay. So, for the Miss Calunisius, we have the Corundum or the Ebony or the Orichalcum or, I think. The Moonstone or the Malachite or the Stalhrim chunk. Silver or a Daedra heart. Wait, yeah. Daedra heart. Um, then a steel ingot, a dwarven metal ingot, dwarven metal, party, ba ba ba. Yeah. So, it's even better than butter nowadays. And there's or chal, or chalcum, or chalcum ingot. Um, the refined moonstone, malachite ingot, ebony ingot, dragon. Ooh, I love these things. Dragon bones. Stalhrim, Corundum ingot, and the silver ingot. Silver and steel. Guns and germs and steel. Ha 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 ha. Oh so. Oh so funny. So. Okay, that's two, but where would the next one be? Oh, it's probably down here. Because I was wet from before. Nope, it's not. I I'm I'm screwed. I'm gonna uh -huh. die down here. Uh -huh. Oh, that was nice. I just I just got out. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, sir, I have to violate. Food, Sparg, perfect. So there are only four foods that are added in this mod, but uh -huh. those are the Nord Mead, which you see a lot, the Alto Wine, which you also see a lot in the game. Uh -huh. Goat a uh, goat cheese wedge a goat cheese wedge and vegetable soup. So they're pretty fun stuff, and they're delicious and can like save your life. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What? Mo? No, I'm talking to you. Thank you, sir. <gasps> no, no, I do not wish to give Mr. Piggy this honor. <gasps> Ambush! He did. He deserved to die. Well, I guess I'll show you guys the rest of this mod later. For now, I'm gonna go swimming. Oh, oh! Well, what do you know? Armor, bar, perfect. So there's also a lot of armor in this mod, as you may have guessed, because there are a lots of weapons such as this. But we'll get to that later. So. Let's start with these. First, there are steel um, thingy bejiggers for armor. So there, we have the steel helmet, the steel armor, the steel leggings, and the steel boots. So that's pretty good in Skyrim. Then there's the shrouded cowl, shrouded armor, shrouded leggings, shrouded boots. Wait. Okay, dwarven. Ooh, dwarven's probably the best. I'd think. I'd think on here. Excuse me, dwarven helmet, dwarven armor. Dwarven leggings, dwarven boots, and dragon plate armor. Then is the hel dragon plate armor, dragon plate helmet, <laughs> dragon plate leggings, dragon plate boots. Hide stuff. Hide stuff is the worst in Skyrim. So I'm not gonna suggest using this for the for the greater good, you know. But they're missing quite a few things. But I think this mod is still in development. So as the of the time being, this is an awesome mod. So this is the hide helmet, the hide armor, the hide leggings, and the hide boots. Why are the chest plates referred to as armor? The mystery. Dun dun dun. Then there's the Daedric armor. Boo. I'm sorry. I, I got distracted when I saw the horse. So, then it's a Daedric Helmet, Daedric armor, Daedric clay, Daedric clingings, Daedric boots. I think that's how you pronounce that. B o o t s, bot, butoshaba. Oh, I don't care. So then there's the Dawn Guard full helmet, 
full helmet. Ooh, intense. I wonder what the half helmet looks like. Or the no helmet. Dawn guard armor. Dawn guard leggings and dawn guard bots. Boots? Boots. Oh, boots. That's it. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Excuse me. I'm allergic to the pentitus, pentitus, oculatus. Yeah, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to the pentitus oculatus helmet. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, there's that Pent pentitus oculatus armor, pentitus oculatus, oculatus leggings. It's hard to say. Not the leggings part, but the penitus oculatus. So, and then lastly, the penitus oculatus boots. I'm not sure which of those armors is the best, but I still think they're pretty cool. That's just cool that they added them in Minecraft. I don't really care what they do. I'm just glad they added it, you know? Okay, we may experience a slight delay. What about? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That that took a little bit because that was the flight was boarding, and I was not on the flight. Well, I have no idea where the last chance, the last chest is, guys. So I'm just gonna go swimming, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, oh, oh, here we go. Perfect. Magic bark. So the last thing in this mod is, as you may have guessed by the sign magic so the very last no right well yeah never mind so the at the magic items that this mod adds the skyrim mod are the blade of woe i thought that was the blade of ice earlier <laughs> apparently i'm mistaken um the notched pickaxe the children the volsung the wuthraid the vulcan the heaven rock have, no, have no rack there. Um, have no rake. I don't know. The Nachrin? The Ragot? The Moroki? The Moroki? The Otar? The Croesus? The Wooden Mask? Ooh, intense. And the Conorak? 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 With the Thorns VII. What's Thorns VII? What does VII stand for? Does anybody know? That is correct. It stands for two. No wait. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I I'm I'm totally mistaken. That's just V. V is two. Cause yeah. So what the answer is is the VII. The VII stands for. Well, it's a Roman numeral, but if you translate that to American or should I say English, then it would be V-I-I, -I, which I believe pronounces V, like, v or Vi, Vi, yeah. So then, this is the, my favorite um, item in the entire mod, I'm really happy to add to this, because I've, I use this all the time in the actual Skyrim, so I'm, this is so cool, so, guys, this is mind blown. They added something called the Dawnbreaker, with Fire Aspect 3, and 9 attack damage. So, I'll be honest to you guys, I've been holding this from you the entire time, secretly, because I, I was going to show it to you at the end. But, yeah, that's the Dawnbreaker. So what the Dawnbreaker does, I got it after fulfilling this quest, but it can pretty much kill anything in like three hits. For example, one hit, and you get cooked pork chop. What do I get from a horse? I'm sorry, this is sick of me, but... <laughs> Three hits, and a frickin' piece of leather. <gasps> I'm sorry, Joe. I, I, Joe and I have been friends for a long time. Oh, he saw me coming. He saw me coming, he's trying to escape. No, you won't! You will not escape with your... <gasps> You're a witness. You are a witness. You have to kill all the witnesses in Skyrim, so I'll do it in Minecraft, too. Anybody in here? Knock knock. You sure? I 
I can't eat it? Screw you. Alright, so, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this mod review, and so if you like this video, um, I'm going to post, if you want to try out this mod for yourself, I'm going to post this, um, the description to this mod in the description, the link to this mod, I should say, <laughs> in the description of this video, and if you aren't subscribed to me and you like the commentary or the video in general, um, please, um, subscribe to my channel. I haven't figured out the, I've had to figure out everything that I've done on YouTube so far, so I've had, like, no help whatsoever. So, um, once I figure out how to create a link that will, like, take you to, like, the add user page for my channel, then I will do that, but, but while I wait, um, just stay tuned. So, um, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and, um, <sighs> I'll have one last shot. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, uh, buh, buh, deh, buh, deh, buh. yeah, um, so, I'm just going to say it right when I go down in this cave. I'm going to say, oh, it's dark down there. I'm, I'm not going down there. Fine. Is there a secret here? No? Fine. Fine. Be like that, stupid world. So yeah. The Piggy Massacre. The Piggy Extinction. The Piggy Extinction. Plus the cow. And... Budapesto. So, but yeah, that jingle sounded like Budapesto, so that's why I said that. Are uh, you? Most of you? Sh no, n almost none of you. I doubt. I doubt pretty much any of you know what that is. But so, but yeah. Um, stay awesome, guys, and um, I'll see you guys later. So, bye, Fluffians.